Hey everyone, today we are going to multiply and divide numbers in scientific notation. If you have your lesson worksheet, take that out now. If not, take out a sheet of loose leaf paper and a pencil so you can copy down some examples and follow along as we do the lesson. I think you may also need a calculator today, so you might want to have a calculator handy just in case you need it. Let's get started. Here is the problem. We're going to solve two problems today. We're going to find the product of the first um, problem, and then we're going to find the quotient for the second one, right? So remember the product is just the answer to a multiplication problem, and the quotient is the answer to a division problem. We have our steps on the side, so let's get started here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to recopy my first problem here in this empty space. So we have 2.45 times 10 to the fourth power, and I'm going to be multiplying that to another number in scientific notation, which is 4 times 10 to the third power. All right, let's do step one. So step one is we are going to multiply or divide the coefficients. Now, since this is a multiplication problem, obviously we will multiply them. So I'm going to do 2.45 times 4. And this is where you might want to break out your calculator. So 2.45 times 4 is going to give us 9.8. So we're going to write that down, 9.8. All right. Next step, if it's a multiplication problem, we're going to add the exponents on the powers of 10. And if it's a division problem, we're going to subtract them. Well, again, we have a multiplication problem, so we are going to add our exponents. Remember, scientific notation is always times 10. And if I have a 10 to the fourth power and a 10 to the third power, that's going to give me a 10 to the seventh power. So we are finished. All right, let's look at our next example. Our next example is 8.1 times 10 to the 10th power. And this time we're going to be dividing it by 3 times 10 to the sixth power. All right, this is a division problem. So our first step is we're going to divide our coefficients. If I do 8.1 divided by 3, that's going to give me 2.7. Scientific notation is always times 10, but when we have a division problem, we are going to subtract our exponents, and 10 minus 6 is 4. So the answer is 2.7 times 10 to the fourth power. All right, let's continue. Now, these are some special situations on the second set of examples. So I just want to make sure that you see like all the possible scenarios, right? Everything that could possibly come up as you're doing your problems. All right, ready? Multiplication problem. So we are going to start out by multiplying these coefficients together. So I'm going to do 2.5, and I'm going to multiply that by 1.5, and that's going to give me 3.75 times 10, right, because it's always times 10 when we're doing scientific notation. And we are going to add our exponents together. So a positive 7 plus a negative 2 is a positive 5. Okay, let's go across and do the next one. This time, we're going to divide our coefficients. I have 7.5, and I'm going to divide that by 6. That's going to give me 1.25 times 10. And this time, we're going to subtract our exponents. Make sure you're subtracting from left to right. 8 minus 10 is negative 2. All right, now, these last two are a little bit tricky because there's kind of an extra step that we have to do, but it's okay. We got this. All right, first thing is we are going to divide our coefficients. 2.7 divided by 4.5. And that's going to give me 0 0.6. Right? And again, I just did that on my calculator. Times 10. Now I'm going to subtract these exponents. 12 minus 5 gives me 7. So here's the problem. 
this answer is not in scientific notation. Now, I know when you look at it at first, you might think it's scientific notation, but I can't have this, right? I can't have a zero in front of my decimal point. I need a non-zero digit in front of that, right? It's got to be a one through a nine. So I'm going to have to convert my answer. Now, fortunately, this little guy on the bottom here is going to help remind us how to do that. If I want there to be a non-zero digit in front of this decimal point, I need to move this decimal point one place to the right. And if my coefficient gets larger, then that means my exponent gets smaller. So if we move this one to the right, if you make the coefficient bigger, then you have to make this smaller because you have to like balance it out, right? So that's our first reminder here. If you move the decimal to the right, you're going to subtract one from the exponent. So my new answer is going to be 6 times 10, and 7 minus 1 is the sixth power. So now it's in proper form, right? We always want to make sure that our answers end up in proper form. All right, last one. Let's multiply these coefficients. I've got 5.01, and I'm going to multiply that by 3.4, and that's going to give me 17.034 times. And we are going to add these exponents together, which is going to give us 10 to the 11th power. All right, now again, at first glance, I might say this looks like some scientific notation. However, we can't have two numbers in front of the decimal point, right? We can only have one number. So i got to take this decimal point and swoop it over here to the left once. If this is getting smaller, if my coefficient is getting smaller, then my exponent needs to get bigger, right? So that's our second rule. If you move the decimal to the left, then you're going to add one to the exponent, right? So since I move this to the left, I have to add one. So it's going to be 1.7034 times 10 to the 12th power is going to be our answer. Okay, so very easy, I think, um, multiplying and dividing numbers in scientific notation. Just remember that when you are multiplying them, you are adding the powers of 10. When you're dividing, you're subtracting the powers of 10. And most importantly, don't forget this little guy down here on the bottom, right? You always want your answers to be written in proper form. Right? That's one number in front of the decimal point times 10 to some power. Um, if you need any help or if you need to see the video again, you can always rewatch it. If you need help after that, just reach out to a classmate or to your teacher. We are always here to help and we're very happy to do so and I will see you next time.